I haven't done a cheese strategy video on this channel in a very long time, but honestly, the second phase of this fight forced my hand. But if you're watching this video, you're probably already well aware that this is one of the most mechanically broken and annoying fights in any Souls-like game. I'm going to show you the techniques and strategies for getting past the first phase of the fight, which honestly, after a while, you can take minimal to no damage. And then in the second phase of the fight, I'm going to show you how to cheese it, because honestly, I feel like they want you to do it at this point. You can do this on any archetype or difficulty. I wouldn't recommend it for hardcore because I died a couple of times trying to get the strategy down. Let's get into it. For transparency, I use the Bark Extract, the Mud Tooth Tonic, and the Blood Root for this. You don't have to use any of these. It's just what I used prior to going into this fight. Before heading into the fight, go into your sound settings and turn the music volume all the way down because audio cues are going to be a big part of this fight. After doing this a few times, you can dodge with your back turned to Annihilation. All right, so let's break down the sequence. After we do our first couple of initial shots, Annihilation will go into a vertical strike. You'll hear the sound cue and then it'll go into a slash. You'll see the light and the sound right here. And then it'll go into another slam right here. And then depending on how close you are, it'll go into another slam right here. And then a third slam, which I didn't dodge right here. And then when you get these orbs, switch to your secondary and then you just take out the connecting orbs and that'll make them go away. All right, so now moving into the next phase, it'll do these shoulder shimmies and then it'll go into a overhead attack. Again, just listening for that audio cue. It'll slam down and then sometimes it'll put its hand on the top of the sword and press down, just roll away. Sometimes you'll get the orbs with that, sometimes you won't. Slashes is just listening for those audio cues. And then it'll float away. Don't waste your ammo shooting at it while it's flying. Wait till it stops, especially if you're using a single shotgun like I am with this crossbow. This combo almost always comes in sequential order. It's the overhand slash right here, and then it's the lunging slash right here, and then it'll go into a slam. Honestly, just be patient. Don't turn around and start automatically shooting because you're going to probably get caught. There's a horizontal slash, and then it's always followed by a delayed horizontal slash. Both of those slashes have audio cues, and then another slash. I recommend rolling forward and then again attack these orbs right here try to take them out if you can't take them out you're at least try to take out two of the groups and then roll away whenever he does a shoulder shimmy depending on the type of weapon that you use i would recommend just being patient on it and waiting here's a slash followed by the other long slash depending on your distance to annihilation when they do the slam it'll be either followed by another slam or this press into the ground where it'll either go and launch roots at you that'll grab you or it will send out the orb so just be careful all right so now we're going to move into the second phase of the fight this is the cheese portion of the fight because honestly they kind of force you to do it because it's so incredibly mechanically broken as we go into the tron world there's going to be an immediate overhand attack dodge and then dodge again go to the edge of the map and then drop down i don't know why this is here you can take damage you can get corruption damage However, you avoid the majority of the attacks because you're on the second layer. There's like a sub layer underneath the main portion of the map. You can still take damage here, so be careful. Once you do enough damage to the Annihilation, it'll start doing these weird phase shifting combinations, as you'll see right here. Again, we're just listening for those audio cues. And also, it's going to take a little bit of short-term memory. I'll go over that in a second. So again, slam, roll forward. All right, so we know normally after a slam, it's either that press into the ground attack or in another slam so we're ready to go now it's the press into the ground wait for it and then dodge and then you know we'll go back into those other patterns that we talked about earlier in the video and then it's going to do the slash now this is what it'll do with this delayed slash if you see it do that front slash know that the next slash that that long delayed slash is going to send you back into the tron world but be ready to counter that slash that long delayed slash once you get back into the other world once we do that phase shift if you fall off don't worry you can fall off right here and you go into this little other sub layer now here's that delayed slash so whenever you get that slash from the left hand side just know that slash that's coming from the right hand side is always going to be after you go back into the tron world so just be prepared for that sometimes i didn't even shoot this thing right here, I don't know what happens, it launches these projectiles that go through the map. Sometimes that happens to you, hopefully that you have some form of revive to save you. But yeah, it'll go back into that phase right there, and then I just take out these orbs. You know, it's just the same as the first round. You're just going to continuously do this over and over again. Sometimes you'll get hit through the bottom of the map, sometimes you won't. 
It's all about having that short term memory and just knowing what's happening. So you see that downward slash. And again, we know that either another downward slash is coming or he's going to stab into the ground. So he's going to stab into the ground right here and then just roll out of the way for the explosions. We're going to repeat this step over and over again. I'm going to fast forward the video because honestly, it's just going to be me repeating myself a bunch of times. Just stay patient. It may take a couple of tries. After a while, you'll get that first phase down. You'll be dodging everything. If you found the video helpful so far, make sure to hit the like button. And I always get different types of players in my comment. Let me know, did you do this on Hardcore, Nightmare, Apocalypse? What archetype did you use? And if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing is absolutely free to do. I'll be posting more Remnant content. And as we approach Armored Core 6, I'll be posting that as well. All right, so now we're approaching the end of the fight. As you can see here, we go through all the phases that we talked about. It just, it's just, honestly, it's a grind. You just got to grind it out and then it'll go and get defeated right here and you'll go into a cutscene. I do want to tell you, after you go into this cutscene, there is another cutscene and then there is a part where you have to dodge a couple of small little minions. So make sure you're paying attention because otherwise you can get eliminated and have to start the fight over again. So just pay attention. I don't want to spoil anything here. Here's my build if you want to see it. I'm very anti-gatekeeping. I'm not going to tell you how to play and what to use. This is just what I use if you're interested in seeing it. If you do want to use any of the items that I have, feel free to pause the video and read the descriptions of what they are. And then you can also check out certain wikis to see where to find those items. Please consider subscribing. As always, if there's a boss, I'll help you beat it. I've been RivTech. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.